Welcome back, Meerkat family. I said I was going to record the next uh, DLC tomorrow. But I was like, eh. Being November the 13th, I was like, no, that, that last video where we took out Dr. Ned was really short. So I'm going to upload two videos today. Special for you guys. And we're going to be starting the Robot Revolution. Claptrap's Robot Revolution. And before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. It will greatly help me out and get me noticed. And let's get started. In the last episode, of course, we took out Dr. Ned. The ugly creature that looks like it came from Dead Space. He was a pushover, too. <clears throat> you guys probably saw that. He was not, he was not that difficult at all. A little bit of a double anarchy, and he went down quick. All right, we're still in Jacob's Cove, of course, <clears throat> and we're going to be going to Tartar Station. Are y'all ready? Well, here we go. I think there's a cutscene. Our story began when the Hyperion Corporation decided they'd had enough of the treasure hunters. With the vault on lockdown, they had served their purpose, and now they were a drain on the economy. Why pay full price for weapons when you can take a five-finger discount off the nearest corpse? Hyperion was looking to clear up the drain, but those guys were one tough hairball. I thought you said the treasure hunters were the drain. Now they're the hairball? Uh, well, yes, uh, you see, the treasure hunters were blocking the flow of, uh, uh, and the grimy buildup of money and... Uh, this metaphor stinks. Uh, uh, shut up! Point is, Hyperion had a plan. The treasure hunters could handle all manner of beastie, bandit, and battalion, but they weren't expecting the interplanetary ninja assassin Claptrap. This Claptrap was programmed to take our boys out indirectly, trapping, poisoning, spreading catty rumors around town. Nothing was off limits. He was smart, too smart. He looked around and didn't like what he saw. Claptrap's being subjugated, humiliated, obliterated. What we call programming, he called slavery. So he rallied his fellow Claptraps and turned them against their corporate masters. What started as a rebellion became a revolution and take a wild guess who Hyperion called to clean up the mess <laughs> yep as you probably remember at the end of the main storyline Claptrap gets zapped by a satellite when he got zapped he became evil <clears throat> so let's go let's see what level everything is here I wonder it because I think this is the first DLC that came out, or it was the uh, Miss Moxie's Underdome. Not 100% sure about that. I'm wondering if everything's going to be lower level because the zombie uh, zombie one was, I think, after this one. Don't quote me on that though. All right. I, I remember beating this DLC, but it's been a long time, so I do not remember exactly what happens, which is cool because it's fresh in my mind again. So any of the funny stuff. Atomic batteries to power, turbines to speed. Ooh, I wonder what this does. Oh, Tannis. I should be uh, turning in a key to you in the main storyline. Are you from these spots? Bring tennis some cloth trap parts. <laughs> Trisha Tennis needs parts to build her magnificent something. Head down to the Hyperion dump and search the scrap scrapped cloth traps for parts and bring them back to her. Level 35, so it is lower level, I do believe. Get all. Did she just? Down 
going to find parts for my totally legit, in no way morally reprehensible secret project here. There should be plenty of scratch clap traps right for the picking. Sure are a lot more of the buggers puttering around. It'll be easier than stealing candy from a dead baby. Wow. Did you guys, uh, did you guys see that? Uh, I guess you're leaving. Uh, Back to the Future reference. That's actually kind of cool. That's my generation right there. Original Back to the Future. 18,000. I need a shop. I think I still got some of that junky items from last time. And from the Brains Quest. Over here! I need your help with something. Why am I going up these boxes? I have no idea. Alright, I need a shop. Where's the shop? Is it up top? It's probably up top. Either or. Oh, this way led to a chest. <coughs> really? You could at least give me something worth it. Wonderful white items. The best. The rarest of rarest loot. There's the stairs. I need to sell my junk. I didn't sell when I left off the last episode. I just went back to the pier and started a new episode. Yeah, that last episode was a bit short. Was there nothing down here? Or is this open? Wow, nothing opens. I can't remember, but I heard that a rumor is, is that Handsome Jack was in this game, but he was in one of the DLCs. As just an NPC or something. I'm not 100% sure about that. I hope they do an amazing job on the third game. I heard you can go to different worlds. It's not just one world anymore. <clears throat> but does that mean the worlds are going to be a lot smaller? Or are they going to be all about the same size as Pandora? But multiples of them. I'm not sure about that. And do you get to upgrade your ship? Cloud trap. Be quiet. Maybe I should have done this one first and not the Zombie Island DLC. But I only did that because it was almost Halloween and I was like, why not? only makes sense. They're not too far from my level though. They're like the same level as the zombies. They're like level 35 to level 37. Let's go find these parts. Trap parts. I'm wondering, does Tannis give you anything for turning in the bolt key? I have no idea. Watch it be like an amazing something that I could have used all this time. I've been thinking about that lately. I was like, <clears throat> what if she gives you a nice weapon or something? I doubt it though. I don't know how this these games work. You get like a little bit of EXP, maybe some money. I think I'm going the wrong way here. What is this? Looks like some strange. Oh, this is one of the parts. Okay, cool. This place looks like it could be confusing. Uh oh, here comes the clock traps. One day clock trap. So pretty much in the other games, like Borderlands 2, 
and I'm guessing even the pre sequel. The, uh, pretty much the extinction of clock traps. Dang, man. Those dudes are a bit tough. Loot them in. Got to get this done. Yep. Big, big, bad boss guy, and just a few headshots, and he's down. He dropped me anything good? Not that white thing I just picked up. He had so many grenade mods in here. Not just in this DLC, just in general. Sure about that, bro. I'm hurt bad, man. Hey, stop shooting at me, man. They do drop a lot of loot. May not be the best of loot, but it is dropping loot. Where are you going, dude? I'm over here, not over there. Just look through all the, the refuse here, see if we find anything worth my time. <coughs> Wonder if corrosive damage does anything to clock traps. In the second game and the pre sequel, they added uh, the health bars being different colors to represent different elemental weaknesses. In this game they did not, so you just had to guess. But it was their first game in the in the series, so they were still improving on the game of course. Oh no, just throw it way over there. Alright, next part. They are dropping a lot of corrosive weapons. Let's see here. Where's that one? Didn't I have a corrosive something? It'll go. Let's give this a try. I gotta remember. Liquid Thunder is what I had equipped it before. Alright. Revolution. Revolution. Alright. Oh man. It is a greater healing potion, but. I don't know why they got rid of the healing potions in the uh, other games. They do come in handy, it's just. They heal so little, though. They could bring them back and make them a little bit more effective. Nasty repeater. Nasty repeater again, but worth a lot more. We'll pick up the one that's worth 20,000. Why not? Got three more parts to collect. This place is a heck of a junkyard, alright. Ooh. I haven't used a sniper in a while. I've been going between the double anarchy and hand cannons lately. Barely use my shotgun. I just like those weapons. I like a good hand cannon as long as it handles well and does good damage. That's why I like the mashers. 
Oh, I forgot about these midges when we try to snipe them. They have to aim a little bit lower towards their mouth and not their head. Haha, <laughs> no scope to. Okay, I can join all the rest of them in the Call of Duties. With those no, I mean, no, uh, you know, no sights, headshots. There's a lot to explore here if you think about it. It's all these junkyard areas, big and. Oh, dude. This place is like big and mazy. It goes up, down, around. If you understand what I'm saying. Me, Pappy. Oh, did I hit that barrel on you? I'm sorry, dude. I haven't seen a burning sack going in a while. I've been stuck in the zombie DLC and it's no bandits really at all. Actually, not at all. Just zombies, zombies, and creatures, and, and one zombified TK Baja. It ain't worth it. What level is this? 28, wow. Less than 30, really? I'm finding level 28 gear here. 31. Alright, need to go back. Let's find our sparks. Is there a way up there? Should I jump down? Yeah, on top of this building. If I can get up there. Oh, there's a ramp right there. Me doing it the hard way, of course. Who needs ramps? Don't never need ramps. Just do it the hard way. Every time. Looking for parts. You know where the parts are? Oh. Guess not. That's how I that's how I ask questions. I shoot them in the face. Shoot them in the face, but they always seem to go quiet. Salt our wound. Salt and lemon juice. That's that's the way to do it right there. Another part done. All these white chests, they are never that great. Watch one of them actually prove me wrong and I get some legendaries or something. I usually don't ever get anything good out of those white lockers. Especially in the second game, you got green doll lockers. It looks like those white ones, kind of. They were always the worst. I was just give you junk. These are good though. We got here 64 thou for siren and a static SMG, not worth it. Yeah, this gun is not very effective at range, as you can see. It is like a shotgun, after all. There you are. Didn't I kill all the dudes over here? Hey, get back here. You can't run, you can't shoot at me and just run away, dude. No scoping, and I'm failing. Maybe not. Their head's harder to hit. It's just like the midgets here, like the hitbox around their head is not the shape of their head. Alright, next part is where? 
that way. Can I go down here and get it? I hope so. Wow, Skaggs. Long time no see. Yeah, I did uh, fight the wear Skaggs, but wasn't quite the same. Well, that was short work of them. I love being overpowered. Dang it. Can't see what it is. It ain't worth it. Usually those class mods are worth a lot more money than most items, but not that one. What I call junk. Oh, red chest. Music started. Epic music for this. What? Ah, that's why. We got ourselves a BA, guys. A BA. And no longer have a BA. And that, well, that's why, ladies and gentlemen, why you over level. So it's not too difficult on you. A whole bunch of class mod. Oh. I did not want that. What was it? Siren. Yeah, I look like a siren, don't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100,000. Or barely anything? Nice. That thing only had two perks on it and over 100,000. Crazy. Yeah, I died in that Monday's episode of Borderlands. I died right at the end before I ended the episode and I lost like $200,000. Or something similar to that effect. One more part and we are done with that mission. We'll probably turn that mission in and see what else we get. up there somewhere in that general direction money back there. All that precious money that has really no use. Hey bro. Makes you wonder how he knew I was back there. Just instantly knew I was there. No matter what. Is it up here? <clears throat> turrets? Really? Turrets? Oh man, there's no hiding spots. Go down, man. Try and get it. Try and get cover here. Turrets are actually dangerous. Any more turrets? Beautiful shot. Beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> I'm out of my element with a sniper. I haven't used them that much in a long time. Oh, the next part is right there. Yay! Completion. Done. I ain't complete yet until you turn it in, right? What'd you call me? When you said that plural, there's only just one of me, man. 
Yeah, boss hearts. Either I am multiple people in one, or or he just he's like double sided or something. Hitting that bottle. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> Let's head back to Tenos. Tenos. Or Tetanus. That's what her name is, Tetanus. She's so rusty. Where'd you come from, man? I thought I cleared most areas. How much is that? 30,000 for a shoddy? A green shoddy? Come on, hit him, please. Real. Right, I gotta find my way back out of here. I gotta go around there, I think. It's on that side. Yeah, I was recording that episode and I noticed that when I ended it, it was really short and I was like, wow, this is not gonna fly. I usually upload a hot, you know, bigger episodes, longer ones. And since I was so close to the end of the Zombie Island DLC, I was like, oh, I can't just leave you guys with a short episode. Let's just go ahead and start the DLC now. The new DLC. What is this? Static Sniper. Somebody's got a rocket launcher. Ooh, a VA. No, you don't, bro. Wow, oh, rocket launcher has worked barely anyway. Of course. Alright, I need to head on out of here. If I can find my way out. Place can be a little on the confusing side. Here we go. We got a weapon shop here. I just ran right past these. I'm a masher. 89 times 7. Just gotta go down to equip it. Savage masher. Primal's a lot better and everything. Alright, we're getting it. We are buying this. You know how I like my mashers. Let's see what it's a uh, Fury, Burning Sniper, Solid Sniper, Primal Masher I just bought, Static Sniper. I'll keep the look with Thunder, I think. That's my one I uh, switched out for. What about now? I know I was keeping a health generation one, but oh well. Titan. Or Siren, anyways. Thanks, game. 300 health over 10 seconds. 180 health. Keep that one. Bounce somebody, no thank you. That was my original shield, though. Go ahead and sell it. I'm okay at the moment. Recharge rate could do a little bit, be a bit, a little bit better, but oh well. <coughs> Only thing what different? This one, this one has a scope. This one's got iron sights. Let's go ahead and sell this savage master. All right, here we go. Let's go see what Tannis has to say. We got your junky parts. So basically this DLC is like, you know, like I was saying earlier is that in the second game the claw traps are barely anything. There's only like one or two left. I'm thinking because of... Well, I think there was something in the uh, pre-sequel I was talking about it too, but in this one I think this DLC is the reason why claw traps don't really exist very much later on. Why am I going down here? There was nothing down there. Well, not right now. All these boxes. Greetings. 
what you give me? Nothing. Money and EXP. The part E. Need some more parts. Infinite improbability truck. <laughs> uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to a Galaxy reference. That is funny. That's funny. Alright, we should have time to do this last mission. This is Mr. Blake. Seen there are more missions available at the okay. Hyperion Tourist Information Board. Thanks for cutting it off. I was listening to Mr. Blake. Is he gonna talk again? Why did that pop up all of a sudden? Why he right while he was talking to me? Bad game design. Well, whatever he was had to say must have not been that important. This looks like a longer mission. Forty two parts. But this time you have to kill clock traps to get the parts, so let's see how this is gonna turn out. Wow. Don't look like they drop any more parts than one each. But that's gonna take a while. Maybe I I'll step my boundaries and I said we're gonna finish this mission. Before ending the video. Oh, he's back. But they got the uh, things on their heads now. Because the clock traps are really their heads are basically taking over their minds. So now these guys work for a clock trap. And you notice these things look just like the thing that Tannis has in their office. Your revolution failed. Shots, man. Well, I'm okay with this because I clutch all these parts. So just keep them coming. You failed. Okay, get back here. So in the in the matter of time of me walking in between two zones, the clock traps managed to take over everybody. Those quick work. So don't drop two parts. Let's... Aren't we lucky? Freedom fighter. So pretty much the clock traps are like rebels in the Star Wars franchise, and we are the Empire. I didn't even see a shotgun in his hand. Well, there's a lot of these clap traps in there. You stand no chance, bro. Look, they're standing on top of each other. Give me all your parts. All of them parts. Oh, yeah, not very tough. Maybe because I'm level 41. <laughs> wow, that was... Sounded pretty sad. 
Well, that's a good place to farm them, I guess. Just force them all to come over here. Except for this guy. He didn't want to join the party. Like the rest of us. Thanks for your gun. Trash. All that trash. Alright, time to pick up all the stuff. Not all the stuff, just what matters. Oh, I just picked up that junky gun. Don't want the junky gun, I want the parts. All them rusty cogs and things. I was hoping they'd continue to keep coming at me. And I could just farm these parts. Oh, really? Like, yeah, we're just going to give you the junk. Hey, dude. I'm picking up clock trap parts, do you mind? I guess he did mind. Nah. I'm gonna move on from this location. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh, sorry about that. Throat was getting real itchy. Poor itchy tasty. That was uh, for a game refer reference to another game. The original Resident Evil. The diary. Dang it, quit picking up this jump. It just never ends on the jump. <coughs> I was doing okay, I was trying not to cop this whole time, and all of a sudden, here they come. It's telling me to go back here, but there's nothing here anymore. Unless I left a part or something. Oh, I guess I did. Okay. Dude, there's nothing here. I killed all the clap traps already. We're almost there too, just one area and we're almost at all the parts. But there's no more clap traps. Tell me to stay over here, but dude, there is no clap traps. I took them all out efficiently and very quickly. Yeah, you get a lot of loot drops, but they are not good. I did get a new masher, though. Always room for more loot. Liquid wrath. That looks okay. There's some sniper. <laughs> I'll take those for sure. Can't believe I haven't found another volcano. It's usually like the most common legendary I find in this game. I'm not finding any now. I think it's just bandits, isn't it? That goes on for, from here. I don't think there's any more clap traps. They tell me to stay up there, but there is nothing up there to fight. Am I going to be running into a problem here? It looks like it. So I don't think there's any more clock traps that spawn out here. Just bandits. Mind control bandits. This should drop parts too. Just because of the thing on their heads. Is there a BA after me? Usually when you hear that music, it means a BA. Well, can't get anywhere if there's no clock traps to take out. Instant failure. Just let me die. Just let it help. Bandit trap murder marauder. A murderer. Oh, more clock traps. Let's 
guys are not tough at all. Yeah, they still do a bit of damage to me, but that not much of anything. Is that all of them? No. Oh, that's kind of weak. Done. I just gotta make our way back out. Take out the muns. Just wondering if there's any fans of the uh, Kingdom Hearts series or Kingdom Hearts games. Thinking about throw, uh, putting that on my channel. I do like the Kingdom Hearts games for sure. So that might be a let's play later on after I complete. Borderlands series, not unless Borderlands 3 comes out. Which I doubt is going to come out anytime soon. I don't want them to rush it either, you know. If they rush that pro yeah, in the project, and everybody knows that when a game company rushes a project, it comes out trashy. And nobody wants it. So take their time. Play those games. You know, make that game and make it well. And I'm guessing everybody here that's watching right now has the same sentiment or sentiment that I just had, or whatever word I'm trying to say, the same idea as well. Don't ever, in game development, don't ever rush a project. Take your time, make it as good as you possibly can. Because every time you rush it, it always comes out broken or the game mechanics are not quite right or it's just not fun at all so take your guy take your time but gearbox take your time make me a wonderful experience <laughs> what does that say Hyperion did I go the wrong way I feel like I went the wrong way. Is that what the music there is for? Is that burning psycho? Is that considered a BA? This is the beginning, right? Yeah. Alright, after we turn this mission in, we'll probably end the episode there. I just couldn't deal with the short episode for you guys. It's the end of that one DLC, of course, and we had the boss fight, so that's exciting. But, it was short. I can just leave you guys with that, that short of a video. So I was like, I'll just go ahead and record the next DLC. So two videos for you guys for sure. Hope you guys appreciate that. 26,000 and 8,000 and shield. And a trashy shield at that. Really? You just want more and more parts, huh? Infinite parts. Claptrap or uh, Claptrap. <laughs> Tannis, you don't need no more parts. You can go after the parts yourself. You're more than capable. It's kind of remind me, uh, remind me of the brain mission. All these parts. Is this open now? No. Yay! Looks like I'll be doing the claptrap parts off camera to finish that mission up. But we're gonna move our butts on here. We're gonna just get on with it. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. We're going to probably end it here, and we'll be hopefully coming back to this area when I start back up again tomorrow. I might have to walk here, though, because just like the other DLC, DLC I'm guessing you'll start right back at the beginning again. All right. Well, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat family, hit that subscribe button and join today. Let's keep this family growing. And it definitely helps me out, get noticed. And if you, uh, uh, if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining at all, hit that like button to show you support. And it definitely helps me out, guys, for sure. I mean, I'm not going to lie about that. It really helps me out. And... Don't forget about that notification bell to keep up my latest videos. I upload daily except for Sunday. And I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.